Jim, narrow defeat tonight. Can you just get your thoughts on the game and the performance overall? Yeah, narrow defeat. Um, you know, we're playing the top of the top of the the, the division. Um, a good side, a side that had a certain swagger to them that sometimes comes when you're confident and you you're free flowing and you're playing well. You know, obviously with ourselves, we're in a sticky situation. You know, it could have been easy for us to feel sorry for ourselves, but one thing I've, I've you know, been touching on daily, you know, is that how we go about our training, how we go about our training then comes into games, and that's about, you know, competing, working hard, emptying the tank every day, you know, if we can, and, 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 and certainly taking that same work ethic and determination and application into, into the game on a Saturday or a Tuesday night. Did we get that? I think we did. I think everyone had a right good go. Uh, I think we lacked quality at times. I think composure was poor. We, um, you know, we, we've, we've changed the way we played a little bit with regards to, you know, I've looked over quite a few clips and, you know, the club has been quite a possession-based team recently. Um, but now with what we've got at the top end of the pitch, we think we can score goals. Um, and I think we, we look good on the counter attack. I think there was times today where we were setting traps, you know, for late knowing that we won the ball back, but we didn't, you know, execute the, the, the final pass, so to speak. We asked questions of them. I think they asked, asked more than us. Uh, certainly, first half. Um, but for the first 25 minutes, I think you know it was going to plan. It was okay. And then you know they just built that bit of momentum, and sometimes we give them a leg up, you know, like a counter attack, not doing our job, some our set play, and suddenly they're down our front and nearly scoring. You know, we give them a, we give a ball away, they broke and, and had another opportunity, and the goals come from that as well. We had opportunities to clear the ball, and we haven't done that. Next thing, it's in the back of our net, which is the killer goal. So suddenly they get that confidence. You know, the top of the table, as I say, that they're, they're a very good side and well coached. Um, and the game could have got away from us, but second half, you know, we had a, a, a little chat with them at half time, what to expect, what we expected, sorry, and you know, one or two little things that we could put into practice. And uh, you know, we did that, and we asked questions. We got in down the sides a couple of times. We missed a few balls across. We had a couple of other opportunities. Probably didn't test the keeper as much as what we would have wanted to, but we stuck in the game. We were hard working. We were competitive. And I think it was only one certainly, maybe. Two, but that was the answer was, you know, playing around with it in the wrong areas, giving it away, and they were straight down our throat. And Richards had to make a couple of saves, but uh, take that from it. I think um, you know the positive for me is that we, we stuck at it, we kept going, we showed the uh, the characteristics that we're going to need in the position that we are, and sometimes you get your just rewards when you do do that, and that's what we did. We got the penalty through uh, Tyrese, you know, sniffing out an opportunity out and taking the foul from the goalkeeper. Unfortunately for us, we, we couldn't put it away. Quiggs is ideal for it, he's took him in the past. He scored two last week, he's brave, he wanted it, he picked the ball up, he thinking, go on, put it in the back of the net. Three goals in two games. Suddenly it would have felt like a win, but wasn't to be. That's all ifs and buts, but we got some good things which we're pleased about. We've got others there where we need to work harder, so uh, overall, very, very frustrated. Some good signs, some bits of uh, pieces that we've got to got to work on, but like I said to the players there, you need to keep calm, keep working hard, I'm sure we'll turn it around. Those positives that you mentioned and those signs that you're seeing, is it just a case of trying to do those more consistently over the 90 minutes now, or you know, are you happy with what you've seen so far in these two Well, there's, there's certain things, I think, um, I think when you look over a club and you come into a new club like I have, it's, um, you know, they've been quite a possession-based team and, you know, they kept the ball quite well side to side and, and then suddenly we've turned on, the, on its head a little bit and we're, we're looking at playing forward a bit more and running forward a bit more and trying to get our pace and power in the wide areas to go and you know, create opportunities or you know, playing to the big band now with, with big quigs, you can get hold of the ball and look for those counter attacking movements. Um, we want to brush up on set plays, you know, certainly against, which I thought was a positive tonight because we seem to defend most of them. I think apart from one where Beckles got in, but again, Jim McNulty rolled his ankle just a couple of seconds before and he was assigned to, to mark him, so he, he just didn't have that power in him at that time. But fair play to Jim, he kept going. He was brave. Other professionals probably would, could have come off at half time with what, he, what he'd done. So um, I think that was a positive in that regard. We looked quite bright in some of ours. Certainly early on, we got James Ball in. 
uh, but definitely composure on the ball. You know, when you're up against the side, you keep the ball like like Norian to tonight. You know, and they're, they're a very good side. When you get it back, you can't turn it over as quick as what we did. You know, we've either got to play forward and try and counter attack. We've got to play forward with a bit of purpose and get the, the powerful, quick players on the ball to go and excite the crowd and go and affect the final third. But we just seem to give it away within one or two passes at times, and you know, I think we're better than that. So it's just marrying that up, you know, and um, other little bits and pieces that we're going to have to do. But uh, the, the big thing for me is that they stuck at it. You know, we're playing a good side, top of the table. We kept going, we kept working hard, we kept competing, we stayed in the game, and we got a penalty in the end, which you know could have got us a, a nice little point at the end of the day, but it wasn't to be, unfortunately. Just away from the game itself a little bit, you managed to get Tav Campbell back on the pitch. He's been out for a long time, so it's, it must be great to have him back as an option. Yeah, Tav will not see much of. Uh, you know, he's back now after six months. He played well in a centre league game last week against Lincoln. Um, looked a threat. You know, he's training okay. And uh, you know, like said Jimmy Keirhane who's come back and you know he, he had a solid performance. Nice AD White's been out for large spells. You know, he's he's you know getting stronger and fitter all the time. So we're gonna need them. There's not many games coming now. We got the Salford rearrange one, we've got Liverpool under twenty ones next week and, and the games will be coming Saturday, Tuesday throughout for the next few weeks. So we need a squad that's gonna be capable of, of going out every match day. <clears throat> and as I say, giving it that absolute all and hopefully getting some results to get us up the table where we all want to be. Another potentially tough game on uh, Saturday, another <coughs> between Northampton. Yeah, again, they don't get here. When we looked at the fixtures coming in, it's Salford, Salford late Northampton, Northampton, you're thinking, oh, God, you know, three tough games, but it is what it is. You've got to play everyone twice over the season. Um, the, the type of challenge that you want to embrace like today, you know, if we come away with a point today, it would have felt like a win and gives you the shot in the arm going into the Northampton game. So it's important, you know, after what happened, that the lads aren't too down on themselves, that, that you know, they're ready to pick themselves up, to the cover right and they get all the focus on, on Sassy's game at Northampton because I've learned in football and, and in life as well, if, if you feel sorry for yourself or you're too doom and gloom after getting beat like we have done tonight, there's always another team waiting to, to kick you where it hurts and Northampton will be thinking that, you know, they're one of the top sides, they've done well over the last few years, they're doing well this season, they're at home, they'll be looking out think, right, we're ready, but we've got to be ready as well, so I'm sure we will be after the next couple of days. I mean, from, from the bottom of the division, <coughs> is it almost not matter in some ways whether you're playing 5th or 17th, everyone's above you, aren't they? I've learned, I've learned over the, since I've been a manager and a player as well. You know, you see it up and down the country. Doesn't matter who you're playing. There's a bit of consistency in the top sides. Obviously, that's why they are where they are. But you know, you do get one or two teams that sometimes run away with it. You know, like if you look at the top level, the likes of Liverpool and Man City have been the best around. But at our level, as much of a muchness, there will be teams playing with, with a confidence and a swagger about them at the minute. Uh, and sometimes when you're in the position that we are, the pressure can come on, it can, it can gain, but we've just got to make sure that we keep calm and every game that we go into, we believe that we can win. I've always had that mentality, it doesn't matter who we come up against, whether it's late Northern tonight, Northampton on Saturday, a big FA Cup tour against the Premier League side, whatever it may be, I believe that we can win any game. So. We'll, um, we need to instill that into the players as well. We don't want to fear everyone, anyone. We, we need to make sure, I always say, that we respect all our opposition uh, that we come against. But uh, it doesn't matter at the top, like they were tonight. We believe we could win this game. It'd be exactly the same on Saturday against Northampton. Otherwise, it's not worth stepping foot on the coach and going down there.